Welcome back. Today, I will show you two ways of how to quickly move the origin, uh, which is so-called pivot of an object. It's more straightforward in other package like Maya and 3DX Max. But when I first learned Blender, I just found it's way too many steps to do something simple like this. So the ordinary way is uh, press tab and go to edit mode and then press shift S and then select cursor to active. And then we need to tap out back to the object mode and then go to object and then, then set origin, origin to 3D cursor. It's just like too many things back and forth between two modes. And I found it's really very slow. So here is the first method. What we need to do is uh, first of all, activate uh, snapping and choose snap to vertex. And shift right click is the default shortcut to move the 3D cursor. In conjunction with snapping on, you can quickly move or snap the origin to a vertex point. After that, you can now go to object, set origin, and then origin to 3D cursor. So what you can do is to add origin to a 3D cursor to a quick favorites menu, or simply just bind it to a, a hotkey. That way it will further speed up the whole process. The second method is to transform the origin directly instead of uh, rely on the position of the 3D cursor. Just go to the upper right corner options and then check the origin checkbox or you can just press N and then go to tool and then affect only origins. You can just turn on and off to see. By utilize with the snapping to vertex option and you can just quickly uh, move the, the origin or so-called the pivot point to any way you want. But remember to turn it off when you want to perform any uh, transformation. So if you want to move the 3D cursor to where the uh, origin is, just by pressing Shift S and then uh, select cursor to select it. So what I did here is I assigned control period as my uh, hotkey to quickly turn on and off the transform origin function. Um, then you can just press G to quickly snap the origin to anywhere you want. I think this is totally a time saver and perform more like how we press D and V to move pivot point in Maya. If you know any other faster way of doing this, please let me know in the comment below since I'm also new to Blender as well. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more. And thank you.